Hello, welcome to Local Flavor. We've got a local favorite right now. Corrine Triplett is back with us on Local Flavor, and she's going to make the real red velvet cake, the one from the hotel, the original, with yep. the fancy frosting. Yep, the hotel is located in New York, and it's the Waldorf Astoria cake we're making. We know it more as the red velvet cake here in western Kansas. Mm -hmm. So, But we're going to kind of jump a little bit. Forward, oh. maybe. Not actually jump, but <laughs> we're going to start with the frosting. Because it needs to cool. Yes, we're going to cook part of it, and we're going to mix part of it. So we're going to, I'm going to put in this mixer. Um, I have uh, a half a cup of butter or um, a stick. And I, when I bought my butter, I bought half sticks. It's something new that they have on the shelves now. Oh my gosh, and I love that idea. We yeah. always cut them in half. Yep, and now they make it this way. And I didn't mean to buy it that way, but that's the way I got it. And if you would measure me out just an eighth of a teaspoon of salt. Is so it, that's a quarter, so you're going to have to do half of that. I got one. No, I don't. Yeah, that's about the... We're here in Moreland, and... This is a very nice, very nice Moreland here. This is Moreland's measuring spoon, and they had an eighth of a teaspoon, so. Good. Put it in there. Uh-huh. And then I need a teaspoon of vanilla. Oh, is that clear vanilla? This is, yes, it's clear vanilla, but this is Mexican vanilla. Ooh. Yeah, it has a little bit different flavor, but it's clear. Let me sniff it. I want to see if it reminds it's me of very... my mom. She wasn't Mexican, but she loved Mexican vanilla. <laughs> <laughs> nice. uh, okay, and then I'm going to also put in a cup of granulated sugar. Okay, then I'm going to take this back to the KitchenAid mixer, and we're going to set it on, and it's just going to beat. And it needs to beat until it's creamy and smooth. So a right? while. Yes, it'll, it'll beat for a while. But uh, the, the, it helps the sugar to dissolve a little bit, and it just blends all the flavors together. So I'll take this back here and put this on here. And you're just using a batter. Yep. A beater, a regular beater. Yep. And we'll just turn that thing on and let it... I want to see if it's not too fast or that... Okay, it's no, mixed up. No, probably about speed two on this. Okay, so we got that going. And then in the saucepan here, we have to cook... How high? Probably the base, a medium heat. Okay. And this is just a cup of milk. All right. And then we're going to add a half a cup of flour. And I had this pre-measured ah. to bring over here. So this is a half a cup of flour. We're gonna dump right in there. So this isn't a roux because it's not butter, it's milk. Right, right. It's just gonna make this, we're gonna cook this up. And this helps give the base to the icing. It's not frosting. This is not sweet. It's um, kind of a more, I mean, it's sweet, but it just goes perfect with this red cake. Perfect it is. For Christmas it, it doesn't go with any other cake. It really just. No, no. And like I said, I, we prefer this icing. It, it is a little bit more work than regular icing. But um, I've had... I can see where you're missing a spot. Let me okay. help you. I've had red velvet cake uh, before without this icing, and it's just not the same. Yeah, this is really better. Yeah, it is. It just adds it just a lot it more, more to it. It just makes it more special. Right. So you're just going to continue to um, cook this. And once it starts to come, it needs to come to a boil, and you can boil it, um, then you can turn it down, and it needs to cook a couple minutes after. But the consistency that we're looking for is going to be um, like a thick pudding when we get done. And then this will set off and cool. I, this, and this, like I said, this is a secret about the cake, is the frosting, so. Uh, I want to mention that we had a lot of trouble with this icing when we were kids, mm -hmm. and it's because we always used margarine, and it kind of almost gave it a curdly texture And when mm -hmm. we were making it, and my sister finally figured out that if you use real butter, it turns out just like it's supposed to. So right. this is one case where I'd ask you to please use real right. butter. And the recipe that I use does say oleo, <laughs> <laughs> which is another word for margarine, I think. Yeah, oh my And it's just a fabricated, uh, yeah, we'll turn that down just a little bit. It's just a, oleo is a what, a, not even a true, um, 
it's fabricated vegetable oil or something that they make. But yeah, I started using butter and it sets up so much nicer. And But this the, ba the downsides probably to this is I do have to keep it in the refrigerator. I do. The cake. Well, the you, cake. I feel like you should too with cream mm -hmm. cheese icing, which is what a lot of people substitute if they can't make this icing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, so we're just cake taste beat it out of the fridge. Just do it. It's fine. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. We'll turn that down even a little bit. Oh. I'm not used to cooking on. Uh, it's really thickening up nice. Yep. We're gonna keep beating it up. Oh, it's maybe cooking a little too fast, huh? It's cooking pretty fast, but it's uh, it'll be okay. Do you want me to beat on it for a while? Sure. Are you getting tired yet? Well, we just want to keep it off of the flame a little bit. Why don't I just turn it off? There's probably enough heat on those grills. Yeah, like I said, I'm not... Once it starts to thicken up, it'll really start to thicken up. There, it's smoothing out there. If you want to beat that a little bit uh -huh. there, and then I'm going to check this back here. It started to cook too fast. I think uh, both Corrine and I use electric oven, electric stove at home. Yeah, Don't you use that electric? Looks good. That looks about right. Does it? Right there. Yep. Okay. And then I'm going to turn this KitchenAid off. I'm going to bring it over here so we can show what the consistency. The consist yeah. Did you want to see this consistency? See, it's pretty thick. Now, when we cool this, is it cool on the counter or cool in the fridge? I've done it both ways. It depends okay. on how fast I want it to cool <laughs> off. Um, I've set it out, and then I have taken it uh, after it, a lot of the heat removes. Let me and sniff it. it. Yes. <laughs> and um, then I set it in the refrigerator kind of to, to finish it off. And I go back and stir it every once in a while. But, but we can't put this in there until it's cooled. No, it has to be cooled off. Okay. So, yep. So these two mixtures are pretty much done. And, um, but then once that cools, we'll put it together, beat it up fine, and then we'll frost a cake. Well, I'm in a hurry. So let's stick it in the fridge. We'll take a short break. And when we come back, let's start on the batter. Okay. The cake batter. Dignity, respect, professionalism, commitment, and fairness are the five core values you can expect from All Face Funeral Chapel in Smith Center. At All Face Funeral Chapel, they consider it an honor to serve you and your family and their community. Built in 2010, their large state-of-the-art facility includes dining and reception hall to accommodate large funeral dinners, even anniversaries and weddings. They also sell customized monuments and offer pre-arranged services. All Face Funeral Chapel in Smith Center. When a storm leaves your home battered and damaged, there's only one thing you can do. Forget all about it. The men in black at AquaShield Roofing and Construction have the skills and knowledge to fix your home so you'll forget the damage ever happened. Along with roofs, they do siding, guttering, insulation, windows, doors, and more. With offices in Hugoton, Oberlin, and Liberal, they're never too far away when damage strikes. When you need to forget about home damage, call the men in black at AquaShield Roofing and Construction. You're in the right place, the see it before you buy place, the professional staff place, the have it delivered place. Frigid Air Gallery and Genuine Appliance has real stainless steel with fewer fingerprints and smudges. Ranges with true convection speed bake. Quietest in its class dishwashers, refrigerators with the freezer on the top, the bottom, or side by side. Frigid Air Gallery and Genuine Appliance at 1224 East 27th and Hayes. The best price place. You're in the right place. Did you know? It's not just water, it's better water. Better Water with Smith Center completes all your hydration needs. They sell Lundy Spring Systems, including water softeners, reverse osmosis, water coolers, and bottled water. They won't just install your system, they will service and repair it too. Better Water can repair Echo Water Systems and all other major brands. They offer softener salt sales and delivery for your convenience. Serving all of Northwest Kansas. It's not just water, it's better water. Welcome back. We've got our frosting in the fridge, and so we're going to start making the cake batter now. Yep. What are you going to start us with? Okay. We're going to start out with a half a, half a cup of um, vegetable shortening, Crisco. Now, why do you use this instead of butter? Just because that's what the recipe said, or? 
That's what the recipe said. Okay. <laughs> I have never tried butter in in this part of the recipe. I've, and I've always used shortening, mm -hmm. and some cake mixes call for oil. But, yeah. Uh, in cake mixes, and in this I have uh, a cup and a half of sugar, granulated sugar. So we'll put that in there, and then this needs to cream together. Okay. So we'll put it on there, our mixer here. Just like always. Yep. There must be some magic about creaming butter and sugar because almost every recipe does it. Yep. Okay, so we'll let that sit there and cream, and we might have to scrape the bowl a few times, but we'll let that go. So while that's creaming together, there, it's coming together Look nice. at that go. I yep. love this new one. Mine is so old. And isn't this pretty? <laughs> mm -hmm. I love the lime green color. I might have to, maybe Christmas is coming up. Hey. <laughs> okay, and so in here I have two cups of all-purpose flour that's been sifted. Oh, for real? Yeah, for real, I sifted it, yes. <laughs> and two tablespoons of cocoa. This particular one I have dark, the I, special dark chocolate. I could tell. In it, mm -hmm. and then I have a half a teaspoon of salt in here. Okay. Okay? So. That's what's in there. But we're gonna let this cream, and it's getting there. And then we are going to add to this the food coloring. Food coloring. And it calls for two ounces. I've only found red food coloring in an ounce bottle. Yeah. So you'll need two bottles. Of I think from red Watkins food you can get two ounces. Watkins mm -hmm. maybe. Okay. Yep. So I didn't know that. And I love Watkins products. I know, I do so too. We're going to scrape this a little bit here. And then we will add our. Oh, put that right there. And I have already unsealed the. Oh, yeah. Because I make such a mess I, on my hands when I start messing I with the. I always have red fingertips <laughs> when I make this. So I did this last night. I went ahead and took the. Um, the lid or the seal off so we didn't have to mess with that today. I love the page in my recipe book. It is, you can barely read it. It's all red. <laughs> <laughs> because of the six step, yeah. uh, which is when you turn the mixer on, yes, it's not too high. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we'll, we'll do it a little calmer this I time. I have cheated too, because sometimes red food coloring is kind of expensive if you don't find it on sale. So I have cheated and put in one ounce and then filled the bottle. And it's comes out almost as red. I guess but I must be about as cheap as you are because okay. I've done the same thing, but <laughs> almost as red. Not quite. No. But at Christmas time, you don't chimp on anything, no. right? <laughs> we give it all. There we go. I really like this glass bowl on here because it really kind of brings out the, let's the color show through and everything. Mm -hmm. So, okay. So that's kind of blended now. So now we're going to add an egg. Do you need a, a bowl to crack those in? I can sure, I better do it right. You just never know. Yes, that's true. Thank you. I know when it used to be farm eggs, you just have to crack them in a bowl first. So, okay. Let me put that in here. Add that one. We'll let that beat up. Okay. And we'll do, I'm going to scrape the bowl and then we'll add this next one. That's vanilla. This one's vanilla, right? Okay. This is vanilla. Yep. I get to do the science later and I didn't want to mess it up. <laughs> Ooh, is this apple cider vinegar? It is. It is a brown apple cider vinegar. It is. That's what I've always used. It has more acid in it than mm -hmm. your plain white distilled vinegar. I have only used the white, so, I mean, I've used the apple for other res recipes, but mm -hmm. never for the cake. I'm anxious to taste it. I'm anxious to see how it's different with the, mine has butter, my recipe has butter instead of shortening, so okay. I'm very curious. But this is the closest to the one I'm used to that I've ever seen. Okay. Put this other egg in there. And there's no right one or wrong one. <laughs> no. And like I said, it's, you know, it's a pretty simple cake recipe. Um, and so I, it, you know, it's not hard to make. 
But this, like we said, the secret to this cake, I think, is the frosting. And of course, the red color then. And the vinegar. Sure. That's different. Yep. And buttermilk. Yep. So that's what we're going to do next. So this is buttermilk. It's one cup of buttermilk. Do you want me to sift this together with a fork too while oh. you're doing it? Yeah, you can. You can stir it together. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add about half of the buttermilk. And then I'm going to add... Do you put in half, half of, of this? Half? Okay, mm -hmm. that's what I do too, back and forth yeah. a little. I just wanted a to make bit. sure all the... I didn't want the cocoa to stick to the bottom. <laughs> I hope it doesn't. We'll, we'll <laughs> scrape the bowl. And this dark chocolate, I believe, makes it take on a deeper red. It is a darker red. Yes, it is. It is. And I'm well, especially because you this. didn't chance on the on the food coloring. No. <laughs> <laughs> Not this time. <laughs> but I have done that before. And red food coloring can be expensive. But if you know you're going to make it, you just find it when it gets on sale. It doesn't go on sale as often as hot dogs do. Why are hot dogs always on sale? <laughs> <laughs> There's an abundance of them out there. <laughs> okay, we are almost done with our cake. Did you put well, vanilla then, in already? Not yet. Okay. It, needs to have a teaspoon of vanilla in it, and I thank you for reminding me, or I would have forgotten that. Oh. <laughs> She's you always watching me like a hawk. Oh, that's this is Mexican vanilla. Oh, this is going to be so, yeah, so yeah. nostalgic. It's, <laughs> I haven't had it since I was a kid. Um, it's a it's an acquired flavor. Some. Yeah, it's different. It's, it's kind of like a cinnamon spicy vanilla. It's just a little different flavor. I love it. Um, not all of my family members love it, <laughs> but I use it anyway. Now, can you buy it locally? You have to get it from Mexico, don't you? No. We, the, I live in Hill City, and there is a place in Hill City that you can actually buy this. And I do not know. I have a big bottle. I'm going to say at least a quart size bottle at home that my daughter picked up for me when they were somewhere. And I can't remember where they have it. But we do have a place in Hill City that you can Oh, wow. Purchase it. I just remember people bringing it to my mom from when they went on a cruise or something. Right. They and that's it back to her. Somebody brought me some as a gift back from Mexico because they knew I. It's like a wine I'm, bottle full. Yes, almost. it was a big bottle full. <laughs> cheap. Mm -hmm. It was cheap. So. Yeah, vanilla is kind of expensive. Pure vanilla too. is expensive. So, okay. We are just about done with this step. And then Deb gets to do the science experiment. Do you want me to pour vinegar into baking powder or vice versa? I do baking powder into vinegar. Well. And you can do whatever you want. And that's what we need a spoon for. Oh. You can use this, um, you can use this little measuring cup. I have a teeny tiny spatula spoon. I All saved right. it. This is the one that if anyone watched the episode where we did the no-bake cheesecake, Scarlett got this lost in my peanut butter. I recovered it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this is gonna. This is the part, and you do not stir your cake after you've added this. No, it's not still okay. bubbling. That's is it too right. late? Nope. I always feel like you have to put it in while it's bubbling. No, nope. Or it's not magical. I've never attempted to make this when. Um, the moon is full. Without the vanilla, no. <laughs> or without the vinegar and um, soda mixed together, what you're supposed to do is just fold it in until it's all folded in. And not beat it. No. Okay. Awesome. So. It's a nice thick batter. Sometimes it's, chocolate mm -hmm. cake is such a thin batter. Yep. But so. You have teeny tiny little cake pans. Yes. Eight and the inch. recipe does say that you can use, yes, these are eight inch, that you can use two or three. That was from my special. And what I have done is I always have made it with two, two layers. So we will put. And you've got some paper down in there. I do. It's, is it parchment? Mm -hmm. Actually, or wax paper? Is this not. This is just wax paper. Oh, I've never done that. It doesn't, it doesn't melt? It doesn't mm -mm. ruin your pan? Nope. 
I've never had trouble with it. I probably should use parchment paper, but. Oh, then you'll just get all snobby about it. It's like when you get your bamboo sheets and then you won't use anything else. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kind of old. This is what my mom did, so this is what I do. I'm that kind of a person. Why do you do it that way? Uh, because Mom's my mom said. did it. <laughs> that way. Mom's the boss. Yeah. Now, do you have to spread it out? You do. Like you see, like you said, this is a pretty thick batter. Try to go evenly in both pans as best you can. Okay. And then do this one. There. And what did we, I know we preheated the oven. What we was did. the temperature? We preheated it to 350. And um, it will bake for um, 25 to 30 minutes, depending upon the oven. I'm not familiar with this oven and how it bakes. Actually, at home, it probably takes more like 35 minutes in mine. Now, at do home. you t test it with a toothpick or with a. Uh, are you going to do that? I tap it with the top of my hand, my okay. finger. When it's done, most, oh, most, so people, annoying. <laughs> most people do, would um, test it with a toothpick in the middle. So. And when it comes out clean, it's done. So I'll let you put this one in. Okay. My finger is dirty. We'll just start. So I'll put this one down in the middle rack. There we go. We'll watch these for about a half an hour and test them. And when we come back, we'll be making the frosting and putting it on top. You should never run out of the important Boy stuff. Boy If your current wireless plan leaves you at the end of your rope, imagine how you'll feel with Next Tech Wireless with unlimited everything. Next Tech Wireless gives you the freedom to go as far as you want. Next Tech Wireless, something different. Hi. We're looking for insurance. Ooh, let's see who's free. Jerry. When insurance agents work for only one company, Michael. their options are simply limited. But a trusted choice independent agent is free to shop many companies for a better deal. Free to do what's right for you. Let us shop for you. Contact Rogers & Associates to learn more. Make a difficult choice an easy one with Cedarview Assisted Living's knowledgeable and caring staff. Your loved one will be professionally taken care of as they transition into their new community. With movies, holiday parties, planned exercises and games, residents will have opportunities every day to enjoy their time at Cedarview. Multiple room styles are available, ensuring a just right fit for your loved one. Come see Cedarview Assisted Living for yourself next to Sternberg Museum. The care you need, the home you want. Restaurants, gyms, salons, libraries, and more. Next Tech has over 100 free Wi Fi hotspots to keep you connected. Welcome back to Local Flavor. Our cakes are still cooking, and we're going to get ready to mix the frosting, the two parts of the frosting. Yep. All right, this is the last step in doing the frosting. And um, like I said, this. It's all cool now. Yep, it's cool. Actually, we took, um, we did set it in the refrigerator for a little bit to help it cool off. And thank you. Let me remove that out of there. Don't need that in there anymore. And then we'll just take, and like I said, it just looks like a, if you can see it, looks like a kind of a thick pudding. Looks kind of like glue. Uh, you know. It is glue, it isn't is it? It is glue. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. <laughs> yeah, maybe wallpaper paste, something like that. Okay, so anyway, we got that. And then we're going to, I might need this. And then we just turn this on and we let it beat up. And this can take quite a while. I mean, it doesn't hurt to continually beat it for a while. But, oh, so um, it does, you can't over mix it. No, 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 no. And, but what are we looking for with this? Just 
homogenous. Not, yeah, just this. Kind of stays together and that it's, um, you don't see lumps or stripes. Nope. nope. And that's the consistency of it, about right there. Now, would you frost um, the cooled, I know we have to cool the cakes, but would you frost it at this consistency or do you need to cool it again? No, no, this consistency. So as soon as the cakes are done mm -hmm. and they're cooled, then you can, can start frosting your cakes with this. It can set out, well, uh, if, you ha if your house is warm, because it has the butter in it, you might have to set it in the refrigerator for a while. Okay. But um, anyway, this is the finished frosting. Mm. So, I it has a spoon. Its, yep. <laughs> <laughs> well, but what we did is we went ahead and have a cake already. We have one already made since we didn't, we didn't want to wait for the cakes to cool, but I think everybody knows how to take their cake out of the pans, right? Yep. You took them out. Yep. And, and they could make a different shape. They don't have to make two. Actually, I have two heart pans at home. Aww. Valentine's. Yes. <laughs> Valentine's Day and um, a very pretty cake for Valentine's Day. Christmas time. Uh, you could probably garnish your cake a little bit more with um, either uh, curls of curls white of chocolate. White would be chocolate, beautiful. dark chocolate, yeah, whatever. That'd be good. Yep. Now I'm going to cut the cake this way. I don't know if that's the proper way to cut a cake. I don't think but you should use red sprinkles. I mean, it might be pretty, but... Oops, I didn't get quite the center pulled out. Oh, <laughs> but it looks like somebody already took a bite of mine. Yeah, I didn't pull the center quite out far enough. And of course, that one as well. But anyway, so... I'll wait. I'm waiting. Mm, you're waiting for me? Mm-hmm. Oh. I can't wait to taste it because it has the Mexican Me vanilla. There's a lot of yep. things that are just a little different. Yep. And look how dark and rich it is. Yep. It is really, you know, I sometimes don't make the frosting, but it really does. It makes it what's so special, I think. It makes the cake. It does. It's just not the same. It's not, it's not sweet. It's just creamy. Mm -hmm. Very creamy. And um, the sweetness of the cake and with the creaminess of the frosting, it's perfect. I love it. I really love it. I love the density. You mm -hmm. can tell it's a homemade cake because it's a little dense. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It really does look like velvet. And that... That frosting's magic, honestly. It really is. So, so this worked out pretty good here in Moreland. This yes, is at Aunt Faye's Community Kitchen. Thanks for having us, Aunt Faye's Community Kitchen, and thank you for joining us on Local Flavor. Thanks. Let's get with this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yum.